What is going on, y'all? Gonzo's Combo Season 3. And yes, we are motherfucking here. Episode 30. Episode fucking 30. I feel like this is this season has been going on for so fucking long now. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I did two seasons in one at this point. You know, we already went over the halfway mark of 12 episodes, which was from the previous season and you know, our very first season. So it's it's crazy, the 30th episode. And we still have more to go. That's what's crazy. You know what I'm saying? We might get into the 40s, possibly the 50s. You know, we're going to have to see. We're going to have to fucking see for real, for real. You know, we still have a couple weeks in this month. So, we, like I said, we're just going to have to see exactly what the fuck happens. And, uh, yeah, I'm honestly very excited. Let me see my brightness. My brightness is low as fuck. Um, uh, make sure my D and D is on too, so I don't have that same fucking mistake. Cool, cool, cool. D and D's on volume. Volume is up. Absolutely, motherfucking lootly. Cool. So today we are getting on Ashley. I think she's a TikTok. Look, we're just gonna figure it out. We're gonna find out exactly what it is she does, and then leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? Get to know her. Have a good vibe. See what her thoughts are on, you know, the three major topics, and then let that be that. But y'all let me know if relationships, conspiracy theories, and celebrity drama are good three topics for the guests here. I mean, obviously, some of them are going to have um, one of those topics that they don't know about, you know, whether that's celebrity drama, conspiracy theories, or whatever. But what I noticed is they all like to talk about relationships. They all like to talk about that shit. I mean, who doesn't, though? You know what I mean? Everybody likes to give their their piece on it and um, give their backstory on it. So I think it's I think it's a very interesting topic to keep. But as far as the other two, y'all let me know if I should keep those um, topics on as well or if I should change it up a little bit, you know, because I have I have some ideas what I could change it to type of deal. Um, that would be more fitting to the guests that I bring on. But without further ado, let's go ahead and invite our guests on and go ahead and send her the link. We got the link sent, so all we're gonna do is just wait for her little box to pop. Ooh, let me hold on. Send that to my channel on Instagram. <laughs> so we're gonna hang and waiting for her to come on. I forgot to do that on the last episode. I apologize, y'all. I forgot to put the link in my channel so that y'all can, you know, watch this shit live before obviously it releases. And y'all can see the combos and everything going on as we are recording type of deal. Um I think that's cool. I think it's cool to have a little channel on there. I don't have too many people on there, I think like twenty nine to thirty. Um but uh it, it's cool man it's cool you know for those of you that are that are in it y'all do show love y'all do like the shit and uh i appreciate it a lot of them are actually guests that i had on previously which is even better because they already know exactly how you know the, the podcast goes and um it's very unfortunate for those that you know, chose not to be on. I chose not to get on and enjoy a good vibe on a podcast. You know, more po you know, God bless you. I'm about to say more power to you, but not really. But God bless y'all. You know what I'm saying? I was supposed to have two tonight, but, you know, we busted it down to one because uh, the other one was a complete no-show. Like, no no uh, heads up that she wasn't going to be able to make it or nothing. Like, it was just dead. It was nothing. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to hear back from her tomorrow on some fucking excuse, but look, I'm on a time. I have a lot of people to fit in. It just, it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? I move on. We're good. 
it does bother me, but we're moving on. <laughs> we have a we have a much better guest, more willing to come on, and that's what's more important. You know, that's what's more important. And it tells me who really likes to have good vibes and chop it up for real, for real, and who doesn't. You know what I'm saying? Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you perfectly. So I already did my intro, so go ahead and introduce yourself. Oh, yeah. So my name's Ashley. Um, I'm from San Diego. I'm going to law school right now, and I kind of just do TikTok for fun. Absolutely. I, I had a feeling I, uh, what's it called? I reached out to you on TikTok, because I wasn't sure if it was IG or TikTok, but I kind of had that feeling it was TikTok. Yeah. So, so would you say you're kind of like a like a micro influencer on TikTok or? Yeah, I guess like aspiring influencer, you know. Aspiring influencer. What what yeah. got you in, what got you into that? You know, I don't know. It's a funny story. So like when I when TikTok first came out, I wanted nothing to do with it, and then COVID <laughs> hit, and I was like, oh, I'm kind of bored, and so I kind of just started making like random little videos, and then I fell off of it for a while, and last year I came back with like. Um, my like daily outfit videos and like day in my life vlogs and stuff and then i just started yeah. like picking it up and then i moved out here for school and i was like you know like this could be a fun little hobby like and it's a cool way to kind of meet people too so that's kind of what got me into it i fuck with that it is, it is a good way to network i i would say tiktok is probably the best social media app to network with other people however <laughs> it can also be the most toxic app out of all of them do you agree with that Oh, a thousand percent. <laughs> um, what, what makes you say it's toxic? Like, what were your experiences? It's just there's so many people on there and there's so many, like, negative people on there. Yeah. And you wouldn't, like, expect it because everyone seems so positive. But it's just kind of like, oh, okay. And you get negative people in your lives and you're just like, okay. And that's why everyone has, like, mods, you know? So I get yeah. that, but... And then people just like comment on your videos sometimes and they're just like hating and it's like, what's the point of it? So that's like the toxic aspect for me. I get that. Yeah, I, I can see the comments being super weird. I know whenever I go live, which is like every, one, every other week or so, kind of just keeping it mellow, I'll get like weird comments and like sometimes hate comments and stuff like that. But it's like, it's always the accounts that have like one follower, they're like the bot account type of deals, or like the ones that don't do anything. So it's, yeah, always funny. it's always funny to me. No, I know. It's weird. I usually go live like when I'm studying or if I'm just like doing things around the house and people just kind of hate and I'm like, okay, whatever. I've like just found I have to ignore it and it's fine. Yeah. It seems like you do very well because I know if I remember correctly when I was um, asking you to get on the podcast and everything, there were a lot of comments in there, like weird ones too. And the way you handled it was actually pretty, pretty A plus on, in my opinion. Cause Thank me, you. I would have been like, "What the fuck?" You know, like I would have yeah. got banned. I would have got banned for uh, for hateful speech or some shit. No, okay, so I got banned <laughs> one time for that, and I was like, I didn't do anything. It was my comments, so that's why now, like, my lives are a lot more chill, and I have a lot more moderators now. Cause I can't be banned again. Like, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> yeah, that's good to have moderators. I haven't even put mods on mine, so I kind of just deal with them myself type of deal. Yeah, probably, probably a good idea, honestly. So, yeah. how how long have you been doing TikTok for? You said since it since COVID, since the peak. Yeah, kind of. When I really got into it was last year for sure, like August September. Um, okay. I just started going live last month, actually. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah. I know. I realize your TikTok is is pretty pretty big, but your Instagram is kind of like you know. So does that mean like you're not so active on Instagram? You're just more like on TikTok type of deal, or Instagram yeah. is more like chill out type of deal. I feel like Instagram, I have some family on it. And then, like, I have people from high school that follow me and stuff. And I don't really like to, like, show my life like that to those people. Because it's, if you've seen my profile, like, I only follow, like, 40-something people. And I have 400 yeah. followers. Yeah. So I just, I don't like to share my life with those people because they're not in my life like that. And it's just, it kind of bothers me. So I pop out every once in a while. I think I posted in February. And that's okay. been it this year. I got you. I got you. I'm kind of the opposite. I started with Instagram and like, like, like you said, everyone from high school kind of followed and everything, but I kind of kept it going and I wanted them to know, like, this is what I'm doing. What are y'all yeah. doing? Kind of like a motivational thing. Not really so much rubbing it in their face, but like 
kind of like y'all need to do some shit you know yeah definitely no i get that i know i think with tiktok um i started it because nobody really follows me that unless you're like a really close friend so mm -hmm. i'm like okay this is cool but lately people from high school have been following me and i'm like how are you guys finding my tiktok because i don't post my <laughs> anywhere i'm just like this is great <laughs> So it, it kind of feels kind of weird that they're just following you out of nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> it almost makes me feel like self-conscious to post, you know, but I'm just like, no, it can't be like that. It's fine. Yeah, I was going to say, so with that, honestly, who gives a fuck with what they say or think? Because if I'm going to ask you this, right, what are they doing right now? I can say, I'm pretty sure they're all still in their undergrad. Most of them are still living like in our hometown. That's what I'm saying. Like most yeah. of the people I went to high school with, they're either locked up dead or working a like a regular regular fast food job or like a job kind of along those lines so mm -hmm. not really not really doing too much so if they would have judged me i'd be like well, what the fuck are you doing you know what i mean yeah exactly so kind of just kind of have that in mind like you're doing what you got to do and they're doing whatever it is they're doing and you already know that it, you're doing more than what they're doing to do yeah you're on right some, you're right on some bragging shit you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> exactly i know that makes me sound like a dickhead but you kind of have to think of it that way yeah i mean you really do you have to be kind of cocky and confident absolutely so are you just started college this year or that's kind of like yeah so i just started law school this year so a little fun fact little like bragging moment about me i that's did you. my undergrad in three years and i am so i graduated when i was 20 years old and i have two degrees and a minor from okay. that yeah <laughs> yeah already better than me i don't have i don't have any college credits to be honest with you hey, like once i graduate once i graduated high school i started doing whatever the fuck i gotta do that's not school like school is not my, my thing so no, I was always, yeah so i was always kind of scared to start college because i was like that's that's more work type of do you know yeah no school's not forever and trust me it's a lot of work too and uh, it's fun but it's not <laughs> yeah. So I feel like if I wasn't doing social media or not doing what I'm doing now, I'd probably be like trade schools or something, you know? Because I feel yeah, like that's more, I feel like, I don't know if it's, that's just me, but I feel like that's more beneficial than college in general. You know yeah, I, mean? I think so in the long run, because even now, like you have to, you can't even really use a bachelor's. You have to get like a master's or something. So it's just yeah. more full on top of it. So it's kind of- I mean, a, ba a bachelor's is always a plus. People always look for like, if you have a degree and stuff like that, but trade school, like that's your, you're certified in that in that field or whatever you study so you know what i mean they're gonna probably pick you over the person with bachelor's versus like a mm -hmm. regular business job they'll probably look at the degree more if anything yeah that's true yeah. yeah but now i'm out here and i'm in law school it's my first like full semester um i did the summer semester so like i guess the fall is my second second semester but still first okay. semester. yeah what made you want to study law? Because I know that shit's hard. It sounds hard. Um, I don't know. So, like, when I graduated high school, I wanted to get a degree in psychology. Like, I've always wanted that. So mm -hmm. that's what I did. And then, like, my senior year of high school, I got really into, like, the government class that we have to take, you know? And I was yeah. like, okay, let me just add, like, the political science major and see what's up. And so that's what I got both my degrees in. And I was like, well, what do I want to do with this? I was like, do I really want to go and be a therapist? Like I said, and then I was like, but I could go to law school and like still help people that way, but also make big money. So that's yeah. kind of like the factors right there. And then I was like thinking about it and I was like, oh, I could do sports law. Like I could work with athletes. Like that's something I'd be, I'm so interested in because I love sports, like specifically baseball. Um, so I was like, okay, I can do this. Like, let's go to law school. Now we're here. I fuck with that. I fuck with that. So clearly you're smart. <laughs> <laughs> clearly, clearly. Do you have to do a lot of math with that, I'm guessing? Or not so much? Because I don't um, know. I don't know. I guess, like, for some classes for, like, property and stuff, it's going to yeah. be a lot of math. But so far, it's been, like, smooth, no math, which I'm grateful for because I hate math. Oh, I sucked at that. All right, don't laugh, but my senior year, I took Algebra 2. It's okay. I didn't even take a math class. <laughs> like, well, you probably didn't have to, you know? They're like, she's a smart kid. So fucking, well, so our system was her. weird. We had, like, common core math. It was so fucked up, but... I don't know. So I could tell you, I started with pre-algebra my freshman year, and then I went to geometry, and then algebra 1.5, which is, like, all the people that sucked at math that needed help. 
we went there and I took mm-hmm. out the So I didn't take no calculus, no no stat and pride, whatever the fuck they call it. None yeah. of that. So That's so nice. I wish. It sounds nice, but you kind of feel like you're slow as fuck. Yeah, but I'd rather do that. I hate math. Honestly, in high school, I cheated my way to math. Like, <laughs> I tried to, honestly. I tried to sit next to the smart kids, but they kept moving me. So <laughs> it's what it is. I yeah. still graduated with, with a D, I guess, so I still graduated. <laughs> hey, that's all that matters. I mean, you got your degree. <laughs> yeah. But see, I graduated on the peak of COVID, you know, 2020. So it went oh, to really? online. And once once it went to online, I was like, I'm not doing shit. I'm ready. I'm ready to graduate. <laughs> yeah, that's so. fair. So you were the first, like, graduating class with, with COVID? Yeah, unfortunately. So the yeah. next class after, they're like, y'all are going to do this online shit. Yeah. With us, it was kind of like y'all already graduated. Get the fuck out, you know? That's so but, nice, though. Like, it sucks, but. It sucked because I did kind of want to, like, finish out on a good note. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I still feel like it was uncompleted, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, there was no, so I'm... much I still could have done in those short months. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I know. It's weird. I was the last class to graduate, like, before COVID hit. And I was like, oh, and then my brother graduated during COVID. And I was like, this is weird. So you graduated in 2019? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. So yeah. you're a year older than me. <laughs> yeah. You're 20 right now? 21. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm about to be 22 at the end of the month. 22. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. And already you are super into the, the degrees and shit. <laughs> you're, you're motivating me to get started. I just don't know how, you know? Honestly, I would just take an online course. Do it at a community college too. It'll be way cheaper. That is true, but I do want. I I don't know. I kind of want to experience the on-campus lifestyle too. See you what do. that's like. I don't know if that sounds crazy or not, but I want to. I want to see the on-campus life. I mean, I say like if you're gonna do community college first, do it online, and then do like your last two years on campus. You'll have more fun because you'll have more freedom. That's smart. I'm. A, I'm a. I'm gonna see what happens in the future. We, we, you know, there's there's so much that could happen. Like we're almost in 2024, which is kind of scary to me. I don't know about you. It's low key kind of scary. It is like this year went by so fast. It did, but that brings us to the, our first topic with the uh, relationships, right? Mm-hmm. How do you feel about how do you feel about relationships in our generation? You feel like it's a good thing, like people are doing shit on on point, or do you feel like a lot of people need work when it comes to it? I feel like a little bit of both. It just depends. Like, I think men will treat a woman right, but then they'll just be like, okay, like, I'm done. Like, I'm bored now and just move on, which is so messed up. But then you have the ones who are, like, so toxic and, like, bad for you, but they're, like, they want you to stay around for years, you know? And they're like, okay. And the girl, like, is like, I'll put up with it because I don't want to be single. And then I hate that whole trope of, like, girls, like, I can't be alone. Like, I don't want to be single. Like, it's, it bothers me so much. I think relationships now are so messed up. Like, it should be like, um, what's it called? Like dinners and movies. Like, open the door for you. Like, let me knock on your door to pick you up instead of just like, oh, yeah. text me. Like, I'm here. Or oh, I'll send an Uber for you. You know, like. Yeah, I feel like oh. dudes, need to, dudes need to understand. Us as guys need to understand that being a gentleman is not simpy. Like, people, I feel like when it comes to guys, they're so worried about being a simp and being a beta male, all this other shit, right? Cool, you're an alpha. It is what it is, right? But that doesn't mean you got to mistreat the, the lady, you know what I'm saying? If you're trying to get with her, like, or be with her, continue that shit, be a fucking gentleman. There's nothing wrong with that, you know? Because, yeah. exactly. like, a perfect example is how relationships were ran, like, 20, 30 years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, back in the 90s and shit, that was real love. People actually loved each other, and people actually had legit relationships mind you they were still cheating and all that shit going on but it wasn't as bad as it is now it wasn't as toxic as it is now you no, know definitely. it was there were more legit relationships than there was toxic ones for sure and wow. i feel like that's the type of vibe that we all need to ad- readapt to because mm-hmm. the way we're going right now is it's, it's, it's all kinds of fucked up it really is and i hate the men are always like no we can't be emotional like it shows weakness too and it's that's like, it doesn't show weakness. Like, it just shows you can be vulnerable with certain people. Like, that's a good thing. Yeah, it just shows that you're a human fucking being and you're not an idiot. <laughs> Simple exactly. shit, you know. There's nothing wrong with people being, being showing emotions at all. 
women, yeah. dudes, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, no. But yeah, as far as the guys are too worried about being simps and all this other shit. And then with females, I can personally tell you they look for the wrong shit in dudes. And I, what I mean by that is they look at, a lot of them look at zodiac signs and they look at height and how much a dude is making. Yeah. So those three is already like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, I know personally, I for sure, I'm like, oh, like, how much are you making? Like, I know I can make my own money and do it, but you know, it's always like, how much are you making? Like, how tall are you? Yeah. I get it, yeah. But it's like very you, shallow. But like, you personally, what do you look for in a significant other as far as like you actually being with them or like what catches your eye type of dude? Honestly, it's more so like personality. Um, I would say height is the thing, but like it's really not for me anymore. It used to be for sure, but now I'm just like, it's whatever. Like, if you treat me right and you have good personality, you're respectful, then I'm yeah. good. Um, I kind of, I don't look at like how much they make or the job they have, but like you can't just be a bum like sitting around doing nothing and then it's like a hard no from me. Yeah. But I think that's kind of it. Like, treat me right. You're doing something with your life and you're just, you're respectful and you have a nice personality. Sort of they had all that, but they were like, they showed effort into what they're trying to do, but it's just not working out. So like they're not making as much money, but they're at least showing effort. Is that, would that be enough for you? Or would that be kind of like a, eh? I mean, I think so. I think it would be enough as long as they're like showing the effort. And if they're like, oh, like, I want to try something new too, but they like don't completely stop what they're doing. So they're not like not doing nothing in case the new thing doesn't work out. Yeah. Yeah. So I like I, that. yeah. I like that. I could, I, I could tell your head's in the right place when it comes to that. Yeah, and I mean, tattoos don't ever hurt. They make it better too. <laughs> like, hold on, hold on. What kind of tattoos are we talking? We call like the the small kind of tattoos, or are you talking about like a sleeved out mother? leaves? Leaves, like yeah. kind of like mine, or like what are you talking about? Yeah, basically like yours. I, I need to work on my other sleeve. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm kind of, I I was addicted to tattoos, and I kind of stopped for a little bit. Really. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I had, to, I had to stop, but I might get back to it. We'll see. How many do you have? I lost count, bro. <laughs> I lost count. <laughs> so I know I could tell you this. I got this my freshman year. Mm -hmm. So like once I turned eighteen, I was like, "Fuck that! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my first tat." And then, well, I think this was my second one right here. So mm -hmm. my right here, and then this one was my third one, and then I did the rest of this later on. And I was in I was in Korea at the time when I did all that. So. Oh wow. Yeah, they type really good in Korea. I'm not gonna lie to you. I bet, and I'm sure it's way cheaper over there too. That was about the same price. Same really? Price. Yeah, you would think it'd be cheaper, but now it's like around the same price. Yeah, that's cool though. That's dope. Appreciate that. You about to get tats of your own too, or? I have three already. You have three. Yeah, so I have my ribs tatted. That was my first one. Once I turned 18, I was like, I'm gonna get a tattoo. I know the ribs hurt. Honestly, I was falling asleep. Like, I thought it was going to hurt, but I was like, no, I'm tired. Let me take a nap. <laughs> oh, you built different. <laughs> I heard, because yeah. I heard, I heard tasks that are in sensitive areas that are like close to the bone hurt, like the collarbone, the shin, the ribs, mm -hmm. the spine. No, that's what I thought too. And I was like, oh, this is a cake. Like, this is nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. And then I have my ankle tied, just a little small one. And then I have one like right here on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. That's matching with my mom. That's what's up. You should you should sleeve it out too. I can't. I'm trying to be a lawyer. <laughs> yeah, but like, if you're a lawyer, can't you wear like the long sleeves where they kind of hide it? Or well, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. You always get a half half sleeve. That's true. That's true. I do want more tattoos. I just I don't know what I want or where I want them. Yeah, don't don't get the random shit because those are the ones that you're gonna regret for sure. Exactly. Like all of my all of mine have meanings because I wanted to make sure I didn't want to regret any tattoos. Like I, I wasn't gonna get SpongeBob on my ass cheek. Like that's 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 fucking <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah, no, I felt that all mine have meaning too. I'm like, oh, you got they gotta have meaning. It's permanent. I've seen people get like random tattoos that's and they say they have meaning. Like some dude got the PlayStation logo on his fucking arm. I was like, as long as that has some type of meaning, I guess. And he's like, yeah, I love PlayStation. Okay, cool. <laughs> More power <laughs> too. Yeah. 
Yeah, I couldn't get tattoos like that though. They gotta have like inner meaning, like like her heritage type meaning. You know what I'm saying? No or, like, doubt. Where I come from. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> then eventually, I want to get my the both sides of my neck tatted. Oh, nice! That'll look nice. I know you're into that shit. <laughs> Are you saying that? You're like, I look for that. <laughs> Maybe just a little. <laughs> I feel like. I, I might be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like a lot of females actually are into that shit. Like, if they see a dude with a neck tat, they're just kind of like, he's sticking out more than the rest for some reason. I don't know what it is. Yeah, definitely. For sure. And especially, like, if you have, like, a chain on and you have, like, a couple piercings, maybe. It just, like, it's the whole package right there. I got you. I just have my nose pierced, but. Really? It got annoying. Like, not to sound gross or anything, but <laughs> you, you get... You, you hit boogers and shit every fucking day and it kind of attaches around it so <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't fucking with it at all no no that's fair yeah i wanted my nose and then both my siblings got it done and i was like nope i'm not gonna copy them so i'm good it does it, it does kind of hurt like a little pinch i mean honestly i don't think it would hurt so i have my nipples done so i like if i can do that i don't think anything else would really hurt she the nipples yeah i heard that shit is <laughs> But, yeah, the first one like didn't hurt, but the second one I was like, once you know what the pain feels like, it fucking hurt. Like, <laughs> what about the belly button? I heard the belly button hurts too. No belly button, I was fine. Damn, so you all pierced up. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I only have my ears so far. I had, like I said, I have my nose, but I'm I'm good off that. No set, none of that bullshit, and then none yeah. of the Yeah, no, I'm good. No, yeah, I have. Both my, I have two in my ears, and I want another one. What are you about to get? Oh, um, another one on the ear. Damn. Yeah. Because I don't know what else I could pierce. There's some people out there that have their, uh, their area pierced. If you know yeah. What I mean. Nope. I'm good. <laughs> I can't. I don't know how a dude does it and goes and gets their, their, their balls yeah. pierced. That's a little. Yeah. Fucking, that's a little excessive. Like, you got to be a little bit insane, like, like, serial killer insane to be doing shit like that. <laughs> yeah. I Especially, could remember it. Especially for females, though, because that's a sensitive, that's, like, probably, is that the most sensitive area? I always thought so, for a female. Probably. I feel like it goes between that and, like, your nipples. Yeah, so, so equally, they're, they're serial killer insane to get that shit. Here. Basically. <laughs> yeah, no. But yeah, what do you what do you think on um, people looking at like people looking at zodiac signs like like it's a big deal for people to vibe with and for the height thing? Like what do you think of that? For the zodiac signs, I get it, but I don't like oh. I always fuck around and I'm just like, oh yeah, like oh you're a Libra, like no thank you or whatever. But I have best friends that are Libras and stuff, like it's fine. I just think people take it way too serious and just like believe in it way too much. Def definitely, definitely. Yeah. I've seen people like legitimately they'll go up and be like, oh, you're a Scorpio? I can't fuck with you. And I felt bad for the dude, but I was like, fuck. Like she didn't even try to talk to him or anything. She just asked the Zodiac sign and then that was a wrap. Yeah. That shit is crazy to me. You yeah. Know? I mean, at least I'm not that shallow. I'll give him a chance. Like I have bad blood with, um, Zodiac signs that are my exes, but like, I'll give you a chance because you're not the same person. I don't say I could tell you that's probably just them. They probably just that fucked up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I don't think it's a. I don't think it matters about a time and day that they were born. I think it's just how they fucking are. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I don't think zodiac signs define people as a group. I think everyone has their own personality. They have their own traits. Now, mind you, the traits do kind of make sense because some people do have those types of traits, but. I don't think it's 100% accurate, if that makes sense. No, yeah, it's definitely not. There's no way in hell it can be 100% accurate. Yeah, like I'm an Aquarius, and it does say we have our own opinions, like we're opinion-based and we're stubborn. Mm -hmm. I can agree with that, you know, I, I have yeah. that. But it also says we're not cuddly people. Like, I could tell you my love language is physical touch, so that automatically breaks that, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, everyone's different. So people who just like judge based off zodiac signs, I just think they're really shallow and they're just like, oh, like they're really in it for like looks and stuff like that too. And have you noticed if you disagree with them about the zodiac signs, they get real offended? Like they get real yeah. Yeah, I I almost got kicked out of a live because I was kind of just explaining to the female why it wasn't like that big of a deal, 
And mm. she was like, you're coming to troll. I'm going to, I'm going to kick you. And I was like, all right. Oh <laughs> that's not but, annoying. It's, it's not that serious guys. Like, come on. Well, I think that's the, that's the other thing with, with our generation, right? Is we're, they're real sensitive when it comes to disagreeing. Have you noticed that? Yeah. It's unfortunate. I don't really know how to deal with it. I just kind of just go on about my day when it comes to that. And I feel like that's the best thing to do. Mm -hmm. But it's so crazy how, how it happens. I don't, I don't know. It is. It's just, it's so weird to think about. And it's just like, why are people like this? But it makes sense but it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. And the height thing doesn't really either because if you ask a lot of people, or let's say females, right? This dude, it was like a street interview. And this dude asked this female, I was like five one or so. And he goes, what do you look for in a dude? She goes, uh, they gotta be six eight. <laughs> they gotta make six figures and all this and that. And it's like, what the fuck? So you want an NBA player? Like what? Basically. <laughs> Like it just it doesn't make any sense, and she wants basically in the sense she wants to do that's not going to pay her any type of mind or attention. If that makes right. Sense. No, yeah, I get like, you. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. Like, how how tall are you? Five eight. Five eight. So yeah, you're like two inches taller than me. So it's actually really cool <laughs> for you to be that tall and not be like, I need to do that fucking tall. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter to you. Like that's actually really cool. Yeah, no, I could care less. I mean, my man right now is like an inch or two shorter than me, and I'm just like, okay. I fuck with that. That's yeah. I that. Hey, I, he's a short king too, huh? He's five six. Probably, yeah. I don't know his exact height, but yeah. Yeah. See, I, li <laughs> I like that. Give the short kings a chance. I fuck with it. Hey, but don't call him a short king. He'll get mad. <laughs> hey, I accept the fact I'm a short king. It is what it is, man. That's fair, that's fair. Like, if I had control, obviously I would be taller, but we yeah. don't control that. And that's the other crazy thing is they look like females want that, but we, we can't control that. No, exactly. And you know what bothers me is when, like, females who are, like, 4'8 or something, they're like, I want a six-foot tall guy. Wow. Like, like, do you wanna, <laughs> like, do you want to get carried like a baby, thrown over your shoulder and shit? Like, right? What? Like, that doesn't make any sense. But and it, it would look goofy as fuck. Like she would be up to his waist type of type of shit, and it just wouldn't look right. Like that'd yeah. be a whole pair. Like you could wear like four or five inch heels, and you still would look like awkward next to him. So I'm saying, do you think? <laughs> do you think daddy issues has something to do with that? Like if they have daddy issues, that could be like a big part of that. I feel like maybe actually, yeah. Does that make I sense? Yeah. yeah. I never thought about it like that, but like that kind of makes sense. So cute, because I, 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 I was talking about it. Her being up to his waist, that's kind of like how a father is to his like daughter. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that could be a daddy issue type of thing as yeah. well. Yeah, Definite, definitely could be, yeah. Hey, I I, I don't agree with it, but I, I hope they, they find that. And... uh they could somehow prosper from that if they do. I, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. The case. Hopefully, yeah. They'll do that. I think, I think going into 2024, because we're not far, you know what I'm saying? We're not far at all. Oh. Going into 2024, I feel like it's going to get worse from here. Do you think? Well, I yeah. Think so. I think so. You got to think. We have this AI shit coming out. We have more technology coming out. Guess what that means? More apps, more... Mm -hmm more uh opportunities for people to do some weird shit and more opportunities for people to just online date and never meet in person you know? yeah i also i think like the online dating and never meeting in person is so weird like i'm all for like go for it long distance like meet someone online but like meet in person like hang out in person yeah like have a goal to meet in person type of do yeah, yeah exactly because like you really never know if you're just like oh yeah i'm in an online relationship with someone you really couldn't be like they could be fucking other people doing whatever you know like but see that's what's crazy is our generation even fucked up online dating like look at tinder do you think people use tinder to actually date no hell no honestly when i was on dating apps tinder everyone's just like want to hook up but like hinge hinge is kind of where it's at now Bro, I actually never tried it. <laughs> it's a uh, lot better than Tinder. So I, I, I feel like I have an old school mentality when it comes to dating. And because of that, I did eventually find my significant other too. But it was like when I least expected it. You know what I mean? Right. Like I was just doing my regular, regular shit. 
and she popped up on a live and from there we met up and you know hit it off from there yeah, but definitely but like I, i'm proud of the fact that it wasn't from a dating app because i feel like you having to explain that to people like yeah i met her off of this app and it's like okay yeah. so it wasn't like no romantic coffee shop <laughs> type bullshit you know what i mean like i don't yeah, know exactly. it's a little awkward it's weird to explain it but yeah. it's okay but i keep hearing that like hinge is actually low-key working for people which is cool you know hey make that shit work yeah actually go on actually go on dates with it cool but no, tinder, was, tinder was a fucking downfall yeah <laughs> it it is. Was tinder is not the move anymore like if you want just sex go on tinder <laughs> but other than that no but let's say hinge gets taken away you know what I'm saying? What other dating apps will there be for people to have the actually have that opportunity? You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's always Bumble, but like Bumble, the girls have to reach out first. Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie, you know, no offense to females, but they they're not the best at texting. <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. So that's why Bumble kind of it just defeats it, defeats the whole purpose of that. Yeah, um, it is good if you want to make friends though too. Like Bumble, I, I know people that have actually met some cool ass people off of Bumble just on the friends. Oh really? Category. Yeah, they've done it. I never tried it because I, like I said, I'm old school. So if I meet people, it's gonna be in person. It's gonna be, mm -hmm. you know, if it's over social media, eventually we'll meet in person type of deal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I get you. I don't think I've ever like met anyone from like social media or anything. Dating apps, sure. Like I've been on dates from dating apps, but that's kind of the extent of it. I yeah. prefer in person too. Like if I'm out like at the bar or something with my friends and like someone comes up to me, there you go. I'm glad you said bar and not nightclub because nightclubs ain't fucking. Yeah. Thank you. I've <sighs> only been to like, I don't know, three, maybe four clubs. And I'm just like, no, absolutely <laughs> not. Like this is not the move. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the vibe at all. I, it, I don't know if it's just me, but people don't really socialize as much in the club. Like they're just more so dancing on each other, grabbing each other and doing mm -hmm. some weird shit. And it's Built so drink bad. on my fucking shoes and I'm getting pissed. Like, it, yeah, it, it's, not, you know. it's not fun. And cause the music is so loud. Cause it's like the club, you know, like how are you going to converse with people? It just doesn't work like that. It don't, but yeah. bars actually, bars are actually pretty dope. Cause you could just go out there chill out drink. And if you end up meeting people cool, that's even better. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. I actually fuck with bars and hookah lounges. I don't know if you've ever been to a hookah lounge, but yeah. those are actually pretty dope. Yeah, they're fun, actually. There's one that me and my friends go to downtown, and it's super chill and laid back, and they have alcohol there, and it's just, it's a whole vibe. That sounds like a spot. Do people actually socialize there, like people that don't know each other, or is it just more uh, so Kind people? of. I feel like it depends on the day when you go, but it's hit or miss. Hit or miss. Okay. I would still try it out. You know what I'm saying? Why not? Fuck. Yeah, definitely. I Fuck mean, it's night. fun. It's like in the heart of downtown, downtown. So there's everything around, too. If it's like, oh, this isn't the move anymore. There's everything right there. Then again, San Diego seemed like a whole better vibe, though, <laughs> compared yeah. to where I'm at. Compared to where I'm at. Where are you say, at? El Paso, Texas. Oh, El Paso. OK. That's fair. So, it, it's it's a it's kind of like a college slash military town. So I see a lot of military people here. I see a lot of college people, and they party together, which is not the best fucking mix. Right. Don't want to be around that. Um. <laughs> and as far as the bar, the bars aren't too bad. It's just it's mainly full of like dudes and shit. So it's like. That um, I guess it depends on the bar you go to, but I don't yeah. really go out too much like that either way. So I don't know. Ever since yeah. I got. Ever since I got with my significant other, I haven't been going out like that. I usually go out with her type of deal, and then it went over right out the night like that. So, no, which, is how it should, which is how it should be, you know. What exactly. I mean? How long have you guys been together, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, we are about to hit a year this September. Wow, that's cute. Yeah, so I broke my own record. <laughs> <laughs> um, my record before that was eight months. Like before that, I was like. I don't know. I just had trouble dating. I'm not gonna lie. That's fair, but hey, it worked out for you. I mean, you're happy now. Yeah, yeah, it worked out in the end. I was, I was, I was pretty unhopeful before that. Like, I was like, "Fuck it, I'm not gonna find anybody. I'm just gonna keep doing me, and we'll see mm -hmm. what happens in the future." Type of deal. And you know, once you do that, you end up finding somebody. I guess. 
You really do. <laughs> yeah. Like I tell people, like people ask me, and I'm like, don't look for it. <laughs> Once you look, like if you ever notice, like even like with shit, like you lose, right? Let's say you lose your AirPods or some shit. You go looking for your AirPods, you're not going to find them motherfuckers. But then when you're not looking, you're like, oh shit, they right there. Yeah, exactly. It's the same shit. It's the same shit when it comes to relationships like that. Yeah. Just don't look. Just don't look for it. Exactly. Let it come naturally. Yep. But focus. The big thing is to focus on doing what you got to do. You know. Yeah, saying? exactly. So I tell dudes like, don't date unless you absolutely feel like you're ready to have that type of commitment or have that type of relationship. You know. Mm-hmm. Because it could be time consuming. You might not have the time for it, and then guess what? That relationship's not going to work out. Or yeah. if you look too much, you look for the wrong one, and you get cheated on, and then you feel butthurt from it. Yeah. yeah. It just There's goes. So many through. things that could go wrong. Yeah, just let it happen naturally. Do you? I could tell you. I don't know if this is just me, but after I got cheated on, like for my like my first ever puppy love, I was afraid to get cheated on again. Like I made sure that shit didn't happen again. Yeah. No, I, <laughs> I was on I the on too, and I was like, after that, I just kind of like did my own thing and kind of hoed out, I guess. And then I was like, okay, like let it happen naturally, and it did. I'm glad you admitted that because a lot of people don't admit they had a whole phase. Every motherfucker had a whole phase. No, oh, yeah, I had a whole phase. <laughs> like it happened. Everybody had a whole phase. I stopped my senior year though. Like my senior year, I was kind of like, this was kind of old. Like this ain't. Yeah. Amazing. No, but most people see most people senior year are like fuck. I'm about to go to college. Like I need to get more in. I'm like you tripping. Yeah, no. Yeah, when my last year of college like was when it happened, and like towards the end, I was like, okay, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's weird. It stopped in college. You think college would make it continue going? You know what I'm saying? Because college yeah. is like. Well, what for I me, though, my whole college was like during COVID because I started in fall 2019 and then I graduated last year in May. So, like, it was all online except for my last year. So, it was, like, okay. kind of hard. Yeah. Okay. So, that, that made it a little easier not to fall into that even deeper kind of deal. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but if you was on campus, you'd have frats and shit, all these parties. like. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. actually, so I made friends. I used to be in a sorority, actually. And, like, I ended up dropping, but we were close with the frat. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, and I stayed friends with the frat after I dropped sorority. And that's kind of where everything happened too. Like that's how I got my in, you know. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah. gotta take a step back. You went through the frat. You're good. <laughs> so is this similar? Like to have you do like initiations and shit like that, or? Yeah, but there's no hazing for my sorority, at least. So I feel like all that stopped. Like I feel like all that stopped because of all the deaths and shit that were happening around different colleges from hazing yeah. and stuff like that. So I feel like that kind of took that kind of slowed down a little bit. No, definitely. I know, like, some of the frats and stuff were still hazing, but they weren't doing it, like, intense like that. It was more like making them do chores, I guess. Yeah, which is, like, okay. That, I mean, I, I would still consider that hazing because, like, that's not something you want to do, but you got to do to still be in it type of deal. Yeah, but they could get away with it, and it's, like, okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's a good experience, though. You know, just, that's it college is. life. That's, that's college life. Yeah, I mean – I'm not in a sorority anymore. Like, I didn't go alum or anything. I dropped. But I think it's a good experience. And, like, if you're going to go to college, go for it. Even if it's just for a semester, you'll have the time in your life. Oh, yeah. I'm, honestly, I'm happy that you got to experience that because not everyone gets to. You know what I mean? Not everyone can afford college. So they're like, fuck it. Can't do it. Yeah, that's true. So that's, that's a, I think that's a good thing you experienced that. And you can tell people, like, hey, this is what I did in college. This is what I went through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. It's like. Yeah, this is what it's like. And so, is it true that like senior senior college people, like seniors, don't really fuck with like the freshmen still? Like it's kind of yeah. like still like a high school vibe, or but oh, they still do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, the seniors like when I was a freshman, everyone was so nice and super friendly. But again, I was like in the sorority and frat like group, you know. So yeah. I think that's part of the reason why, because we would all party together. I don't but, know. Like other people, everyone else is still like kind of clicky. I, I, that makes sense. Yeah. I would think they would be like, uh, oh, they're a freshman. I'm not going to talk to them. Like, I'm a grown no. ass. <laughs> I don't know. They could give a fuck. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, you, so like, once you were a freshman, then you got there with like, were they just throwing drinks in your face too? Or like, 
basically like it's just like if you get offered a drink you gotta drink it or you're just kind of like oh okay like she's not down you know Oh, uh, yeah, she's a square. <laughs> yeah, basically. I mean, it worked out for me in my favor. Now I'm just like, okay, I'll take it. And I drink whatever, and I have a really high tolerance. So I'm like, it worked out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that worked for you. Yeah, for sure. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I, I, don't, have a, I don't have that high of a tolerance. So, like, if they're throwing shots, I'm probably going to peep that night. Not gonna really? Lie. Yeah, like, I don't, I can't do no hard liquor, nothing like that. I got to stick to the sweet shit. Wow. But, That's interesting. But I could just be the me now, cause when like when I was in Korea, I was mixing light and dark, doing all kinds of crazy shit. Yeah. And I feel like that kind of ruined it for me to have to do. So I don't, I don't really know. We've all been there. I mean, for my twenty first, I went to Vegas for twenty four hours, and I was like, okay, twenty one drinks in twenty four hours. I got yeah. and mixed everything. I have like it's so bad. So I guess um, I got back to my room at like four in the morning. And I texted my parents back at like seven. I have no memory of texting them back. Um, oh, my first fun. memory is like waking up at 11 because they're calling me like, check out your room. And I was like, oh, okay. And I like wake up and I go in the bathroom and there's just like hella towels everywhere. And you only get two towels when you go like to a room. You know? <laughs> and I was like, where did all these towels come from? Like what happened? I have no memories like at all. So you was blacked out like that was it. Yeah, I looked at my story the next day because I posted every drink that I did, and I was like, "Wow, I did twenty-one drinks! Like, no wonder I'm dead." And I mixed everything. Fuck. Yeah, they, they say not to mix light and dark because you're gonna have a wild fucking ride. Yo. Um, yeah, I did that. I did that too much. Like, I'm just gonna say, Korea is a good spot to actually. I know I knock nightclubs here, but that's just here. In Korea, it's a whole different, whole different. Really. State. Yeah, the clubs out in Korea are a lot better. Like, I was partying out in the college area. Um, mm -hmm. It's called Chungbuk University. They have, like, a little area where they have a bunch of clubs and bars and stuff. And that was lit. That was, like, my go-to every weekend. Good to know. Good to know. I'll put it on my list when I go visit Korea one day. <laughs> Definitely. A lot of people will recommend Seoul, but everybody goes to Seoul. You know what I'm saying? Right. They'll, see, they'll see everything at Seoul that's not Korean. You know what I'm saying? Like, they'll see a lot of foreigners there, too. So it's like... Yeah. Basically the, basically the same experience you would get here type of do you know what i'm saying right but right. there that, that was like, yeah but there that was like the legit authentic college type like korean type shit so it was cool I yeah. with it. good to know what'd you go to korea for i was just there for a year you know just checking it out. I, like, I, like, I like to travel yeah i like to travel so i was just there that was kind of clutch i kind of wanted to spend a year in puerto rico but couldn't do that so i spent like a good week out there and that that's a good spot too you know, yeah so you have like a latin background it's really cool you don't need a passport or anything oh go. really yeah because puerto rico's uh what do you call it u.s territory so you just go right there interesting get to know <laughs> check out puerto rico definitely yeah i love what, traveling so what, what's your me. what's your ethnicity by the way well, I call myself an Oreo on my lives all the time. Literally half white, <laughs> half <Oreo>? black. Yeah. <laughs> you could pass for a lot of different things, I've noticed. Like what? So you could definitely pass as like Dominican. You could pass as Puerto Rican too. Um, I I could see black and white. I could also see um, like Pacific Islander, like like mm -hmm. Hawaiian. Or I get that a lot. I, that, that was my first thought. I was like, is she is she Islander? That's dope. Yeah, that's what I get a lot, and I get Chinese a lot too because my eyes. China. I wouldn't say Chinese. I would say if I were to say any type of Asian, it'd be like Filipino or something. Oh, like, I get that one too. Yeah, yeah. I, I could see that. Yeah. Um, Sometimes just, I get Mexican, and I'm like, oh, I could be a Latina. <laughs> man, I feel like anybody that's dark can get Mexican, bro. No, literally. Anyone has dark. Like I, I, I get Mexican just based off my facial features and my looks and everything. Not so much my skin color. When it comes to my skin color, I'll get like Cuban, Puerto Rican, or any. Wait, so then what are you? You don't know what flag that is. Is that the Mexican flag? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm Mexican. I'm just real fucking light. You know what I'm saying? Got it. Got it. Yeah, we're, we exist. We exist. We're lighter <laughs> Mexicans. We're there's we 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 come in all colors. Let's just say that there's right. there's even uh if you go to Mexico, there's even Asian Mexicans. Like 
Really? Asians that, yeah, like Asians that you would think wouldn't speak Spanish, but they speak perfect Spanish. Yeah. It's kind of trippy to see, but yeah, it, it's, it's cool. Yeah, that's wild. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I've only been to Mexico. Well, I've been twice. Once I was like seven on a cruise with my family. Don't really remember it. And then I went last year to pop us some beer for Cinco de Mayo to go see YG. Um, okay. But I haven't been back since. What, is that like a touristy area or is that like a... Kind of, because it's in Rosarito. So a lot oh, okay. of people yeah. go for like the festivals, I guess. Um, I know this weekend is the Baja Beach Fest. So you about to go again? <laughs> Hell no, that shit's expensive. <laughs> I really thought about it because my man is friends with like the DJ, so he gets like free upgrades and stuff. And I was like, oh yeah, if I just get like a regular GA ticket, like they'll upgrade me. And then I looked, I was like, four hundred dollars? No, thank you. It's not worth it. God damn. Yeah, wow. I'm good. And I don't really want to see anybody there. Like, if anything, they're saying Bad Bunny's gonna be a surprise guest because it's their fifth anniversary. And I'm like, I've already seen him. Like. I'm good. I like Bad Bunny, but I like the older Bad Bunny. I'm not so sure about the newer Bad Bunny. Yeah, I saw him on tour last year, and like I like that, but like I prefer his prior stuff too. Yeah, but uh, it's not because I don't like the Kardashians and, and that family. It's not because of that. I just think that Bad Bunny's music was a lot better before than it is now. Like now it's just kind of like, I don't know what the fuck he's gonna come out with next, you know? No, literally. <laughs> he's made all kinds of different shit. So I don't know what he's gonna come with next. And I still don't, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but I think him being with uh, with Kendall Jenner is a little bit dangerous for him. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. When I, I feel, found out, I was like, oh, that's weird. Yeah, I feel, I feel kind of uneasy because it's like, they say like this, there's a curse with that family that they ruin careers, and I don't want them to ruin his career. <laughs> That'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not, but I feel like at least it's Kendall, and she's more like tame than like compared to like the rest of the family. I would say so. She's more low key. Yeah. yeah. She's done some shit that a lot of uh, a lot of uh, Mexican people don't like at all. Right. What I'm talking about is that commercial, that tequila commercial. A lot of uh, a lot of people felt disrespected by that. So, oh really? Right. Yeah, yeah. You would have to watch it to like really like know like okay that's fucked up. But other than that fucking thing, like she's she's more low key than the rest of them. So uh, you know you can kind of give her props for that. I guess you could say. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I don't know. It makes me uneasy that they're together, but it's not my business. You know, I can't yeah. do anything about it. <laughs> Yeah, it's like if bad shit happens, like I, it's kind of like a I told you so type of situation, but yeah. I don't know. I'm just waiting for it to kind of happen. Yeah, it'll happen. Give it like till next year. I'm sure it'll happen. I don't even want to, I don't want to give myself to next year. <laughs> <laughs> like, as far as personally, 2024 isn't looking bad, like personally. Mm -hmm. but worldly and, and general speaking, it's not, it's not looking so high yeah it's it's gonna be weird it's gonna be interesting seeing how things develop it is and i really think that this ai shit is gonna get more um what do you call it more developed and it's gonna get more dangerous so i'm kind of waiting yeah. to see what happens. i'm waiting to see what happens with that too yeah i you see the ai thing on snapchat i've never used it but i'm just like why would i do that like it's so stupid thank you can't... it's fucking stupid and it's weird and it creeps me the fuck out Yes, and then when people on TikTok started doing like the AI on their lives or like the NPC and whatever, I'm like, why? That's what I was talking it's about. So stupid. Yeah, it's, it's, it's funny because if you call someone an NPC, that's an insult, right? Like you're yeah. calling them a, a background character. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking. It's crazy. But now they're adapting that and they're proud of it and they're trying to act like it on TikTok. Yeah. I hate it. I scroll past and I see people's lives and I'm like, really? Like, there's this girl who always comes on my For You page and she's always, like, making popcorn in her straightener doing, like, the AI shit. And I'm like, why? What is the point of this? And people just watch it. And I'm like, okay, I get it because she makes a bunch of money off of it. But then it's like, it's not worth it. Like, I wouldn't do that. I mean, sure, the money's there, but I'm good. <laughs> That's not I me. Could. I could strongly tell you it's all trends. It's all trends. They see one person do it, get money, get all this good shit, and then they want to do it themselves to get that same treatment. 
So yeah. it's funny to think about it because if that same person was to eat dog shit on TikTok Live and get money and get all this shit for it, everybody would start eating dog shit. Yeah, which is that's what's crazy funny. about fucking trends is they'll do the stupidest and nastiest shit, and everybody will start doing it to to jump on that on that shit, and it's crazy. No, I know. I don't know. I hate being like a follower for trends. Like, sure, some of them I'll just be like, okay, like I'll hop on it real quick. But then it's just like, why? Like, you could do your own thing, you know? But like, I can see the ones that look like it'd be fun, and it's like, okay, cool. Like, yeah, I'll do that for like, I'll do that once or twice, whatever. Yeah. But that the AI channel, what the fuck is that? Yeah, it's so weird. I, and I how does it how does it get gifts? That's what I'm trying to figure out because. They're just repeating the same shit over and over. Yeah, basically. I, I don't know. You, I see think I mean? you see what I mean with our generation? It's a, yeah. little, it's a little scary. Now you see what and I'm saying? Honestly, I think like the lives is so messed up too because people are sending you money to just sit there and talk to them. Like, I think it's so weird. Like, I mean, I do it obviously, but people are just like, oh yeah, let me just watch your live and just let me send you money because I'm just here and you're talking to me. Like why not only that but the battles i've noticed that when people battle they don't really like socialize with the person they're battling with they're socializing mm -hmm. with the comments or common people yeah. and send them gifts versus mm -hmm. with the person no, so it's funny because for one they're not socializing and two they seem like internet beggars like internet homeless yeah. people just kind of begging them to send them gifts because that's what they're relying on to get paid right is the gifts basically yeah uh, <laughs> that's what it, that's what i see people fucking over here doing with street signs and shit only mm -hmm. they're doing it in real life they're not doing it on the fucking app you know what i mean right no yeah okay. it's so it's messed up but I, what can you do i don't know yeah i don't know that's why i'm <laughs> a tiktoker like i'll i'll, I'll I built up my tiktok pretty good i, I post my content i'll go live every, every now and then and that's it yeah, no, no definitely. <laughs> no trends for me. I'm good. <laughs> no trends. I don't blame you. <laughs> yeah. I'll leave that to the to the, the TikTok influencers. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not with the trends right now. Maybe later on. <laughs> yeah, you got to wait to see what better trends come out. See if exactly. you can jump Because that AI shit is just fucking weird. It's yeah. Weird. It's so awkward. Like, why? Yeah, it's, I don't know, and it's dirty, like, like this person sent, like, the, the hot dog one, the glizzy one. Yeah. And she was, yeah. like, glizzy, and she started <laughs> sucking her lips. I was, like, oh, fuck no. Like, I'm out. This is yeah. good as shit. <laughs> it's just awkward as fuck. I get it, like, dudes would be, like, oh, she did it. Like, I, I fuck with it. But, like, you got to be down that fucking bad to really like that shit. No, literally. <laughs> like it's so weird like even in my life people be like i'll gift you if you do a 360 for like outfit check and stuff and i'm like no thanks i'm good some of them would do it <laughs> some of them would do no, it I know. Like, <laughs> people are just down bad and it's unfortunate but whatever i should fuck around with it i should fuck around with it i'd be like i'll gift you if you do some weird shit and see if they actually fucking do it if they no. do i'm gonna lose my shit. <laughs> yeah I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna lose my shit, cause I already don't. I already don't have too much faith in our generation. But if they are <laughs> willing to do the weirdest, nastiest shit for a gift on TikTok, oh yeah. Man. People have asked me before, like, let me see your toes or whatever, and I'm like, no, I'm good. <laughs> We're gonna get it on that. We're gonna get on that right now. What is it with feet and toes that people like so much? Like, what? What exactly is it? Dude, I could not tell you. Like, I don't know. It's so weird to me. I'm not a foot person. Like, okay, so uh, let's say my girl gets her, gets her toes done. I'll be like, okay, cool. They, they, they look good, you know? Like, yeah. you take care of yourself, you know? That doesn't mean I want to put it in my mouth. Like, <laughs> yeah. what kind of fuck shit is that? No, exactly. I think it's so weird. And they're like, oh, like, let me see your toes. Like, after you get them done, send pictures. And I'm like, no, no, no. You can just see them in person. <laughs> I, I wouldn't, like, if someone offered me to show them to me, I'd still say no. Like, no, I'm good. Keep, yeah. Keep, keep your fucking shoes and socks on. Like, yeah, there's people who I've found that people are asked, like, oh, are you wearing socks? Let me see your socks. And I'm like, socks? That's weird. Never heard that one before, but. So there's a sock fetish now? 
I guess, yeah. Motherfuckers over here, I want to see a girl in a black socks. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I like the ones with the flower on the ankle. Like, what, motherfucker? <laughs> yeah. What? No, people are wild nowadays. I just think, especially when it comes to weird kinks and fetishes like that, there's more being added to the list, too. That's the other weird shit. There's yeah. more being added to this list. Like, someone's going to have a fetish for uh, fucking someone choking down on a Big Mac. No, literally. I wouldn't be surprised. I, I wouldn't. People are just, ugh, it's so weird. It's our generation, and it's only getting worse, you know, because everyone growing up now, they're like iPad kids, so they're always on YouTube and stuff, like always looking at things that they shouldn't be looking at. So oh, then they just grow up, and like, they're all weird now. <laughs> but all the little kids, when they grow up, I, I feel bad. Yeah, no, definitely. I, I really wonder how, that, how their future is going to be when it comes to relationships and shit. Or just, yeah. just socializing in general. I, I really, I'm really curious how it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be weird. It's all going to be through a phone. They're going to be able to fucking like teleport through their device to fucking play. That'd be kind of dope, actually. It would. Kind of dope. I feel like, <laughs> and schools made it worse because they're like, oh, everyone needs a Chromebook now. So you, you can do it all online. No more pen and paper. Yeah, that shit was weird. I hate to carry around a Chromebook. <laughs> Fuck Me that. Too. <laughs> I told you I'm old school. Bring out the the books and the paper. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with it. The I want the technology because I saw. I might be pretty good with certain things of technology, but when it comes to schoolwork, I'm a purposely fucking suck at technology for that. <laughs> I procrastinate. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't. I don't need that. Yeah. Um, no, I get you. I prefer old school to like handwriting everything. Even like, yeah, sure, I have an iPad for notes, but it's so I can handwrite my notes and it's all in one place. I'm saying if we could somehow just go back to an all 90s vibe, even a fucking 80s vibe, I'd be chilling. I'd be fine. Yeah, no, exactly. I'd be I'd be more than fine. No technology for a fucking good couple of years. Shit, I'm chilling. I'm good. Yeah. No, that part. Watch <laughs> people lose their shit. They just going to start acting crazy. <laughs> that part for real that'd be that'd be funny to see but um we are about at the hour mark i could say this was a good episode honestly this was a, this was a good vibe I fuck yeah, i'm glad i fuck, I fuck with you with your vibe your personality you'd be someone, <laughs> you'd be someone i'd be good friends with for sure you know what i'm saying yeah, sure. i mean i'm always down to have new friends always down to come back absolutely absolutely yeah. I'm down for that. I do have, I do have a, a challenge at the end of every episode. Um, have you ever heard of the emoji challenge? No, it it was like it was like a thing a long ass time ago. But I always thought it was kind of cool. Um, so basically, I have five face emojis and you try to act them out as spot on as you can. Okay. We gonna we gonna put the acting skills to the test. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> So you see where it says Gonzo's Convos on the corner of your screen? Yeah. All right, that's where the emoji's about to pop up. And the first one is there. <laughs> is, that, is that one you use frequently? That, that one's a daily. I already yeah. know. <laughs> this was the Vegas face. <laughs> is that Vegas? <laughs> Definitely, you already know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't wink. A lot of people couldn't wink. <laughs> really? I could wink, but like a lot of the guests are kind of struggling with it. I don't know. And then this one's probably the easiest one out of all of them. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> So what exactly, okay, what exactly does this one mean? I've seen so many different meanings of this emoji and I don't really know. I've asked the other guests this too. They all have different, different um, explanations. So I don't even I, know. I feel like it's almost like, like, hey, like I'm watching you, but like, I'm not like, it's kind of like peekaboo, I guess. What? <laughs> I mean, like, Cause you can like kind of see, but you can't, you're like trying to peek and like see something. So that's that's what it would so like if you were to send this on a text message that's what that's what it would mean. Yeah, I guess yeah. <laughs> I would okay. probably never use this though. <laughs> I've never used it either. I've just seen posts that would use it, and I'm like, why would they put that? That makes no sense to me. I don't yeah. know. 
<laughs> but as far as like real life, I don't think anyone really does this in real life. Yeah, I don't think so. No? I don't think I've ever seen anyone like do that. I don't think I've ever even gotten a text where someone used that emoji. I'm saying like real life, like do that exact face in real life. Have you seen people do that or like you yourself have done that? Nope. I She's like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like almost, yeah, like if I'm like covering my eyes and I kind of like want to peek, you know, like, <laughs> I guess, yeah, I have done it. <laughs> okay, so then what would make you do that? Because you didn't even realize until you thought about it. So like, what would make like you do that? Like if someone was like, oh, like cover your eyes, like I have a surprise for you or something or like don't look yet, I'd be like, okay, yeah. And then I would like kind of look. <laughs> so you'd be cheating. But I would I never know. play, I would never play hide and seek with your ass, <laughs> Uh, hell no. Yeah. That's a no-no. I always thought maybe, like, if someone's, like, scared or some shit, like, if they're watching a scary movie, maybe? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Probably, actually. So you do that with scary movies? Yeah. Or you just kind of... You do? Yeah. That's... A, yeah, I didn't even think about that. Either that <laughs> or blanket. What, yeah. movie made, what, what movie made you do that? Because they ain't really too scary these days. Dude, so I watched the Lazarus Effect in like, what, 2014 or 2015? And yeah. I watched it in theaters and that shit was so scary. Like, it wasn't even scary, but it was like jump scares. But you didn't want to watch it because you didn't know it was coming. So like, you know, you just gotta like kind of peek. <laughs> I'm fucking weak. Do you, went, you went with your man or what's up? Yeah, my ex-man. Oh, damn. So he didn't even, like, comfort you in that situation or anything? Like, hey, you good? No, homeboy wanted head. And I was like, bro, we're in the movie theaters. Like, no. <laughs> like, I'm not even, I'm not even fucking surprised. I'm, I'm... Yeah, and the messed up part was we were in high school still. And I was like, bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not, like I said, I'm not, I'm not surprised. Like, dudes really be down that fucking bad these days. They really do be. It's so bad, but oh yeah, well. I, I I just can't. That those are the real sims. I'm letting you know that right now. Those are the real fucking sims. The ones <laughs> yeah. that sound that fucking bad. It ain't the gentleman. It's the it's the shit like that. No, yeah. The, men are so like. Ugh, there's so many things I could say about them about exes, and it's just, they're so down so bad. But whatever. Hey, as long as you don't categorize me in that, we're good. <laughs> no, no, no. You seem very. Uh -huh. And then very nice. Yeah, I think the most I've ever done in a movie theater was like make out and shit. But yeah, same. It was just weird because that was like the first date. So <laughs> you took a girl to the to the movies for the first date. I know I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked up on that. No, cause, so I was a senior at this time, and I was with I was talking to a college girl, and I was trying to think of like good ideas to go on the first date. And somehow movies popped up. I don't know if I asked her if she wanted to do that or what. But we ended up going to the movies. And before that motherfucking movie even started, we're the first ones in there. We started <laughs> freaking out and shit. The dude with the flashlight came in. He's like, y'all good? I was like, I was like, we're good. And he just he left with a smile on his face. And I was like, Fuck. Oh, my God. That's all bad. It was bad, but I, I was with it for a good amount of time. And I feel like, I feel like it would have worked out if I didn't have to leave you know, the, leave the state or anything. Yeah. Uh, you know, things happen for a reason, you know. That's I'm, like, true. That I, I'm with the one right now, so everything happens for a reason, in my opinion. Definitely. And, like, props to you. You learn from your mistake. Never take a girl to the movies on a first date. <laughs> but that's, it wasn't even like, I didn't, I didn't see it as a mistake. A lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people do, and I, I, I can see it as a mistake with other people. It, I think it was just her specifically. It wasn't wasn't that bad. I don't know if that's yeah. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. No, I get you. Yeah, it's it just depends on the person, honestly. No, yeah, because movies are definitely like a second or third date type of Yeah, because you don't really get to talk. <laughs> True. I mean, we still talk because we was early there, but I mean, and on the way there, but yeah. That's yeah, nice. that's, a, that's a second and third date type of dude. <laughs> For sure. I, I don't know, though, because I thought restaurants was like a good first date. Turns, mm -hmm. out, turns out that's not either. Really? At least from my experience, it wasn't. That's fair. I feel like 
a good first date like now is like just like hey like do you want to meet up for a drink and do it kind of six or seven o'clock because if you want to get dinner after you can you know and or you could do something else after but if you're just like hey want to meet up for a drink like yeah and then it could just be one if you're not feeling it and then you leave if you are feeling it you do something else exactly I like fuck with that. I, like a drink, go out for drinks and stuff like that. Not a lot of females like to do that though. They're like, uh, take me to dinner, buy me dinner, buy me food. Okay. Again, they just all want a free meal. I mean, That's what I tell them people they just want a free meal. Like if they wanted to, if they wanted to be with you. They would. They would have not said that. They would have not been yeah. with the food type of deal. They would have. They would have suggested something else. No, literally. <laughs> I don't know. I just wish I could pass on um, what I know to other people and in hopes that they wouldn't simp and do some dumb shit. No, yeah, that part for sure, yeah. That's all I it's could do. Hopefully, we could give. Look, hopefully they watch this and they learn something because it's not even just coming from me, it's coming from you too. So hopefully Definitely. they learn something from that. And uh, yeah, like I said, I think it'd be cool being friends for sure, you know, stay in the loop, everything like that. Yeah, Let me know sure. how shit's going, how, how law is going and everything. Of course. You know? I got How you. San Diego is. <laughs> yeah, keep me updated with El Paso, you know. <laughs> yeah, I got like, I'm thinking the next nine, next year or so, I'm probably going to be in a whole, probably back on the East Coast. Oh, you're from the East Coast? Not originally. I'm originally from Colorado. So okay. I was born in Colorado, then I moved to the East Coast during uh, high school, and then moved around from there afterwards, and then kind of want to go back. I don't know. Yeah, where we're at on the East Coast. I was like thirty minutes from Baltimore, Maryland. So I was oh, there. nice. Okay. Yeah. I that. I've always wanted to live over there. My dream's always been New York. Yeah. No, oh, I thought you were saying Maryland. I was like, Maryland shouldn't be it. No. <laughs> uh, there's other places. There's other places. <laughs> New York's not bad though. New York's just expensive. So. It is. But so is Cali. So, I mean, if you're kind of used, I feel like if you're used to Cali type prices, New York shouldn't be too, too bad. Yeah. New York's fun. Uh, New York is like better than Cali because there's no sales tax on anything. True, true. But the tiny ass apartments be expensive as a motherfucker. Make me want to mollywob a motherfucker. True. Place. But I mean, my apartment now is expensive. So, like, I feel like it's doable depending where you live. Hey, you got it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. got I mean, it. my three jobs. Yeah, <laughs> you got it. That, that that's 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 for the for the people that make good money, like law. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Lawyers. see exactly. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. People are my heads at. <laughs> Absolutely, but um, shit. Go ahead, shout out your social medias and everything. Let everyone um, tap. Yeah, so my TikTok is Ashley underscore one six underscore one six. And then my Instagram is Ashley16 underscore 26. And like, if you only get one of them, it's okay. In my, both of my bios, I have my link tree with my Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and TikTok. So there you go. But oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I thought about making a link tree. I might in the future. We'll see. Yeah. Um, I find it like beneficial. People always ask me, I'm like, like, what's your Instagram? I'm like, just go look at my bio. Like, I don't have time for this. <laughs> But it's usually linked on the TikTok too, so I, yeah, I don't exactly. get what people are. People, people look stupid. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyways, y'all, y'all tap into a TikTok. You go live like every day, huh? Yeah, or, basically. Like, pretty much. So y'all tap in, go on the lives. Don't do no weird shit. Right <laughs> don't say no weird feet fucking bullshit either, because I'm gonna I'm get on y'all. I swear to God. Man. That part. <laughs> I swear, bro. I don't. I. I still. I'm never gonna understand that. I'm letting you know that right now. But y'all tap into her TikTok live. Y'all show her some love. And I appreciate you coming on. No, yeah. Thank you so much for having me. This was so much fun. Absolutely. And made this friendship prosper. Fuck with. Exactly. <laughs>